I'm telling you, it just brings chills. That amazing voice belongs to Houston's own Christina Wells. That was her performing on America's Got Talent, and we have got a treat for you this morning. She is back here in Houston, joining me now here in studio. So great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for we having me. We are so proud of you. We've oh. been following your amazing journey. I, you know, it's so crazy. My, I saw online, you guys shouted me out on social media. I was of like, course. Um, is this real right now? <laughs> so I want to talk to you about this song, the song that we just heard about nothing stopping you yes. and overcoming the odds. That's really part of your story. Tell us about that. So the song I'm changing, it's from Dreamgirls, which is a musical. And in this story, it parallels my, in my mind, it parallels my life. Um, Effie, which is the, one of the main characters, she, at this point when she's singing this song, is taking back her singing career. And she's saying, this is my time, I'm ready to do this, and I, nothing is gonna stop me. And so I thought, what a more appropriate song to sing when I finally got the opportunity to sing at the Dolby Theater. Okay, so how great was it, that feeling, after you performed for the judges, and they told you you're moving on? Well, at first, I think I'm always kind of prepared for the no. This has been a big change in my mindset because as a singer, it's like, well, if they don't like me, it's okay. And when they said yes, you can see it in my face. I said I got to work on my reaction faces because I'm like <laughs> crying and making all these crazy faces. But I was just, just so excited and just like I felt so blessed in that moment to actually get that opportunity to sing again at the Dolby. Okay, you performed Aretha Franklin's Natural Woman. Let's I did. Take a look. Oh, let's take a look. <laughs> Just remarkable. How proud are you of that performance, being able to honor the Queen of Soul like that in front of the entire country? In front of the entire country, yes. That's a great sentence. Um, it was amazing to get to stand in, in those shoes, even if just for two minutes and 26 seconds. Um, obviously, Aretha Franklin has influenced me as a singer and as a person. I don't know how many people are f familiar with her history and single mother. She went through a lot of domestic abuse, and she wrote the song Respect to say, you know, that she wanted to be respected as a person. Carol King wrote um, Natural Woman, and Aretha May it famous and so just to get to be in that moment for a second and even have my name said in the same sentence as hers is just amazing it's amazing so what's next for you well I'm gonna be on Houston life today <laughs> right. I know that at one o'clock that's step one um you know what I want to sing in my city I've said it from the beginning I'm a I'm a Houston girl you know I was raised here in Houston I grew up in Pasadena and I want to sing I want to sing here in the city I want to perform at events and venues around town and that's that's my goal that's well, my dream well we are so proud of you and I know that when you're back here at home, you do get recognized by a lot of folks. I have been. People stop me and they're like, you're that girl, you're that girl. And I just am like, I am that girl. <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah, I am living the dream. But also, I think one of the things that I'm really grateful for with the show is the ability to be visible both, and I've talked about this a lot, with my body being overweight, you know, being of mixed descendant, like just all the different categories that I feel like I represent for people because I'm not, you know, a Barbie and I'm not the perfect size. And so I like the fact that I'm able to be visible for all of those people. And when they see me on TV, maybe they know that their dreams are possible too. Well, you are Houston's sweetheart. And again, I can't tell you how proud we are of you. Oh, can't you. say it enough around thank here. Thank you. Yay. Christina Wells, thank you so much. Remember, you can watch the finale right here on Channel 2 at 7 o'clock tonight. Yes, good luck. And thanks for coming by our studio. We certainly appreciate seeing you, Christina.